I am Rajiv Jain, Vice Chairman, Gems and Jewelry Export Portion Council of India. Actually, uh, there is a quite a relevance of uh, these trade shows and uh, B2C exhibitions in India now. Earlier, consumer used to buy jewelry just to buy wealth or keep it in his possessions for any bad times. But things are changing now since the economy is growing. People want to enjoy fashion, they want to pay for creativity and that is the reason why there is a relevance of these kind of exhibitions now because that this is the platform where the producer comes and displays what he has to offer and the consumer or the traders because there are two kinds of shows which are going on in India one which council organizes in Bombay which is a B2B show where the manufacturer displays for the wholesalers and the retailers and the other shows like Jaipur Jewelry Show and the show in Hyderabad are shows which are for the consumers and under one roof they get to see what are the new trends, what are the new designs and what the uh, producer has to offer and uh, I'm happy that I'm in Hyderabad uh, to witness uh, promotion of the Hyderabad show which is going to take place in November and uh, Jeppu Jewelry show the co-partner in uh, their endeavor is helping them and I'm sure this show will uh, be the consumer would be benefited, the producer would be benefited. And one thing more I want to mention here is that when we talk about gems and jewelry, diamonds or gold or jewelry, we think that we have a notion that this is, this is for rich people. Maybe rich people are buying, today the middle class is also buying, and lower middle class also buys. If we have a history of people having very small saving, but they buy gold or silver. But one thing is very important here, the jewelry is made by all kind of people and uh, th this is a misconception that jewelry is made by rich people and sold to rich people. It is made by lots of workers which are all over the India and we have a workforce of 1.5 million people, those who are making jewelry.